Hello, the aim of this tutorial is to build a table using clay for grasshopper. So let's start doing a clay plane. And setting the size of the plane, which will be the size for our table. So let's do a slider and we are working on centimeters in this case. So let's set between 15 and 100 maybe this is going to be the x size which will be the length of our table and we will copy and paste to be used as the width of our table Now we will do a shell from this plane to create the thickness for the tabletop. So let's look for clay shell component. And we have to set the, the indices of the faces we want to create the shell with. And in this case I will change this just to have one face on the plane so we will change the segments on x and the segments on the y axis to one then i'm pretty sure that the face in this is going to be the zero since we just have one face now we can change the distance of the shell to determine the thickness of our tabletop from 0, 0 to 3 and just leave it a bit I do something like this we can see here the thickness next we want to have the the edges of our tabletop uh, bevelet so we will create a extrusion from our clay shell we want to extrude the top and the under face so we will have to find out which faces are them and they are going to be the face one and the face zero so let's decompose the faces and just look for the first and the second one sorry on the top is item this will give me the item zero and if I click here plus one the item one and I will use them for the input of the face indices we have to set the distance or maybe 0 0.5 yes and it will be like this and just create a new slider to determine the taper, the angle of our pebble edges. It has to be negative, so to zero. Okay, and leave it something like this. Now we have already created the tabletop, then we have to go for the base of the table. For that we will start extruding our plane, our initial plane. We 
which had only one face on it so let's say we want to extrude the face zero but we want this extrusion to be negative just to be below the tabletop so we will create a slider negative from maybe minus 72 let's say minus 10 let's make it a bit bigger and this will be the table height tapering for the extrusion to be the angle of the base so we can set it between minus point 10 to 0 Let's say this is how we want the base and we will create, we will need to firstly delete the base face here of the extrusion because we don't want it to be on our design so we will look for the clay delete faces component and as we don't know which face is one, we will find out by drawing the faces here of this component. You can see this is the face zero on the base, so that's the one we want to delete by setting it here. And if I hide this component. this one and as we can see we have the base face deleted next we will create the gap on these faces to define the legs for the table so we will do a clay window and we will create it on all of the faces just copy and paste this decompose change the input and select all of the faces to create the window on our faces just we have to define the, a new slider to set the size for the legs let's say between 1 and 10 And let me hide this and we can see here the size of our legs changing let me do it a real number with just one decimal so we can control better let's change the name to okay then we have to create a thickness for our base so we will use again the component clay shell and we'll use again all of the faces of this clay object now we set the distance with 
apply there to be the thickness. of our base let's do this like this and we rename it to okay we are almost done we can do a preview of how the base will look once subdivided so we select the clay smooth component and connect the base we can hide this to see the result maybe it's too round for us we want it to be sharper the base so something we can do it's to make an inset of all of the faces of the shell select all of the faces and we have to set the distance Point zero to maybe one, and we will change the input here to be this one. And as you can see now, the the edges are sharper. We can change it a bit more, like this. Maybe will be okay. And we can change also the subdivision level trying to make the clay object a bit a smoother to three yes something like this and now we have our table created we just have to change the parameters in case uh, we want to make a new size of the table Maybe we can set the we can change the thickness. Ah, also we can see here on the front view that the tabletop is overlapping our base. So something we can do is just move a bit up the tabletop using the move component and the set axis as a vector just make a slider to move it as we would like to maybe here or 0 0.2 much better we can hide this one and now we have a new result here well we were changing some parameters just to make maybe the tabletop a bit thinner yes something like that and we can do the table a bit bigger because 15 million 15 centimeter is quite small let's say we want it something like this and a bit wider to 30 then we have to make it a bit higher maybe then we will do the legs a bit bigger like this maybe okay 
on a bit thicker maybe like this and now if we are happy with the result we just have to go to our tabletop and bake it on the layer we want to and the same with the clay object for the base we will choose another layer and we can change a bit the parameters again just to have a set of tables coffee tables we can do it like a square here and like this we can again bake the result we will bake the tabletop on the same layer we bake the other tabletop and the base on the same layer we bake uh, the other base and we can move it a bit and just we hide the grass for the result and here we have our set of two tables Thank you for watching and don't forget to click on like if you enjoyed it.